Okay, what's up guys? So a lot of you will probably want to make things glow in Blender and in Eevee. So in this render engine, Eevee, it's really easy. I'll show you how to do it. But when you come to cycles, it looks kind of boring and it doesn't glow, but it's really easy to make it glow. I'll show you how to do it. And, and the reason why I'm showing you guys this is that it can be useful with Things like car headlights or just random objects that you want to glow in darker scenes or even bright scenes. So let's get into it. So let's go to EV. So I'll show you to do an EV first. What you want to do is make this dark. Let's make it a little dark. Okay. Let's, let's go. Yeah. So we've got Shift A. Just add a cube. Now there's two ways to, well, there's a couple, but First way you can do is select object, go here to material, hit new, go here, and then go to emission. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Okay. You can also, so let's go back to principle PSDF. What you can also do is go here, select object, go to shading, click this, hit delete, and then go shift A and type in emission and then plug this into the surface same thing but let's go here now what you want to do if you want to make it closer in eevee as you can see all you do is hit bloom and you can even enable and then what you can do is change the color of the bloom the intensity see what that does and then you can just play around with it but it looks pretty good and then you can just change your color but that makes it kind of glow in you can see the glow around yeah but let's go back yeah now if i go to cycles you can see how flat it looks okay it looks boring if you go yeah You can see there is no bloom for cycles because it's supposed to be more realistic. You can see if I bring up strength, it brings up the strength, but it doesn't have that glow. It's really easy. All you do is let's select the object, go to compositing, click here, use nodes, and then Bring this out, go shift A, type in clear. And then what you want to do is plug this in here, change streaks to fog glow, and then hit F12, and there's it low. So you can see if I take this away, delete it, image, and go F12, see, looks flat in EV. I mean in in cycles so what you do go shift a again clear node plug this in here change this to fog glow and you can even bring this to high you can bring things up and then go f12 boom and there you've got that nice glow on your object so you can see if i go yeah let's change this camera angle so let's hit cube or twice let's Rotate it like this, G, let's change the color, it's like a blue, then go F12, there we go, you get that nice glow. And to improve it even more, what you can do, Shift A, add another cube, scale it up, and then go to shading, new, change this, go to Shift A, and type in volume and then plug this into the volume change this and then let's go back here okay and that's obviously an extra that you can do with the volume cube as like a misty foggy kind of thing but you don't need it so you can always take it away and then leave it but you can see it adds a nice 
move to the scene okay so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you subscribe and yeah stick around i'll be creating more content